All right, it's restarted, guys. Welcome back. The winner from the shooter giveaway was uh, Climbing. I don't know how to say. That's the winner from the shooter giveaway. So uh, respond to me if you're in the US or if you're in uh, Europe and I'll give you a voucher. So let's play some Panic. Start from the beginning. So in this game, uh, you're trying to stop an alien slime from like taking over a city. Yes, I'm playing this in hot dog mode, Eric. Beware of the slime. This is Officer John. Save him. To topple the house. Swipe. Alright, so you see you divert the slime that way so that he doesn't get hurt. Basically trying to save as many people as possible uh, from getting killed by the slime. And you do that by destroying buildings. And it, it takes into account the number of moves you do, that sort of stuff. Oh, I was not paying attention. That guy just got destroyed. <laughs> I was reading chat. Alright, let's do this again. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, there we go. I think everybody's safe. Oh no, he's not. No, oh, he went the wrong way. Crap. I think he'll be alright though. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah! Barely. Why did I only get... One star. Man. So you can demolish a house like that. And that makes it so the slime doesn't get him that way. Oh, okay, so you were destroying buildings and made me lose points. Yeah, three stars. Let's go to a higher level. Let's see. Let's go to the city. Let's try level 12 here. We'll do one more level and then we'll switch the game up. Protect the concert. Keep the music going. Okay. Uh, how can I help that guy from getting... That guy's a goner. Oops, I didn't mean to hurt her. <laughs> There's something I'm forgetting you can do, I think, to save those sort of people. Oh, too many people died. I stink. Alright, we're not ready for this yet. <laughs> Let's go back to the city. Do one more level. Level 5. Here we go. This is $1.99, by the way, if you were wondering.
break the weak point. I think we're good. Stop running, guy. I'm trying to save you here. Alright, so this is Panic. It's $1.99. Switch it up. Polar Panic. Brain freeze. Brain freeze is I don't know how much money because my tablet is not connected to the internet right now. <laughs> but there's some in-app purchases to get older uh, levels from like the minis and PS3 version of the game. Brain freeze is a whole new sort of deal. So let's start from the beginning here. What I did like is they actually use like the Vita, like a, sort of like the Vita UI on the side there. Like, let me see. See how it has like the little dots? I like that. Back to the game though. So this is like a ice pushing puzzle sort of game. You have a certain number of moves to do each level. Did it. I'm the best. Yeah, this game was on PSN, but it's different from that. Uh, this is new levels and stuff. They have actually the the levels from the PSN game in this game, if you go over. So there's Arctic Adventures, and there's also uh, this one. Levels from Polar Panic. and So Polar Panic was the PSN game, I think, and Arctic Adventures was the minis game. These are like 99 cents each to buy. And then Brain Freeze is the PSM game. So... You get three games in one for like, I think it's like... Three dollars total by then, or four dollars total. So do I have to... I have to... Okay, so I have to have something pushing on every single one of those. trying to trick me there. I didn't let it happen. Crap, how am I gonna do this? That's how. Boom. Polar Panic Master. Alright, so this is Polar Panic. It's a dollar ninety-nine on the store. Next game. Bullion Blitz. This is free. There's an in-app purchase to get a couple other game modes. Problem is right now it's pretty messed up because of the SDK. So... Wrong rotation. So... There's a lot of flickering issues that happen with this game right now. I'm going to give out the voucher again because he didn't respond, so snooze you lose. Nords, Nos R did 9. <laughs> this guy. You want a voucher, uh, respond in chat if you would like to claim it. So this is Bullion Blitz. 
It's totally broken right now. You'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Hey, hey! Hey, do you live in the do you live in Europe or North America? So you can see that flickering down there. That's from the SDK, not from my Vita. I confirmed it with the developers today, and they said they're gonna try to fix it. That's kind of sad because this was this was one of my favorite PlayStation Mobile games. But now it's kind of broken. It's really hard to play and look at with all that flickering. Uh, it got released like that because they released this before the latest SDK got released, and the new runtime library totally screws the game. And I guess nobody's been playing it to let them know. <laughs> so I emailed the devs today to let them know, and they're going to look into fixing it. But this just goes to show you how open a platform PlayStation Mobile is, that things like this can slip through the cracks right now. Alright. Yeah, so if you have this game, don't update your PlayStation Mobile runtime library. <laughs> Which means you can't play any of the newest release games. But this is pretty much just terribly broken right now. I'll play one more level and then we're going to get out of here because the flickering sucks. Alright, I can't even play that because it's bothering me right now. How do I quit? Maybe if we play all the way down here like this, maybe that'll fix it. Nope, that doesn't fix it. Maybe it's fine in puzzle mode. We'll try puzzle mode real quick. So puzzle mode has you uh, trying to beat levels in a certain number of moves. Yeah, puzzle mode's fine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> It sucks, this is one of my favorite games. The puzzle mode and the uh, quest mode are in-app purchases, by the way. You only get the basic mode for free. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to do here in this quest mode, which gives you different things that you're trying to do. Like, I think, let's see what this level wants me to do. Some of them are like, form this, this like certain shape with the, the pieces, because they combine whenever they touch and stuff like that. So you, to get past this vault, you have to create an ingot that's at least three units high by six units. Okay, so you see. And there's also these power-ups on the screen here that, that shift the levels around. So if I shift it like that, you see it does that. And if I get rid of pieces like this and I shift, it should make them form bigger ingots. So yeah, that's the gist of this game. Uh, we can't really play it though because it's busted from the SDK. Which sucks. Because it's really fun. Puzzle Ball is also by these same guys. Europe? Okay, uh, do you want Rim Capsule or do you want Haunt the House? Alright, I'll shoot you a message here on Twitch. This is Puzzle Ball. It's by the Boolean Blitz developers. I think it's 99 cents. It was mistakenly free for a little bit on the store, but I think that got fixed a long time ago. So let's play some Castaway Island. So this one you're rolling like a, a ball through different little holes to try to get it to the exit of a level. So it's like slide puzzles sort of, so you can slide it like you can slide it and you tap the, the screen to make the ball go down. And then you have to line it up so that it gets put in these different things. And the, the end goal is to get it to go into the that little vacuum seal here. Like that. And it's basing it's judging you on how many uh how many moves you make and that sort of stuff. So if you do it in nine moves, you get a gold medal, that sort of thing. Let's pick a different stage. There's also a different mode too. I don't remember which is the in-app purchase stuff and which isn't that, because I don't remember if I actually bought the in-app purchase stuff for this game. I think I might have. 
So it's Puzzy Ball, Puzzy Ball Stars, and Speed Challenge. Puzzy Ball Stars is a little bit different as it puts the... It puts like stars on the map that you have to grab while you're playing. As well as uh, the other stuff. With trying to do it in a certain number of moves. Okay, so these ones will disappear after a certain number of moves. Okay, so we got that. gonna get that star but it did beat the level so there's a whole bunch of levels in this game I don't remember what's in that purchase and what isn't so sorry about that but this is, this is puzzle ball what do we got next lemmings everyone's favorite game So both the other two modes are in-app purchases? Okay, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, I didn't remember. Come on, Lemmings. Let's load here. So there's a bunch of in-app purchase stuff for Lemmings, if I remember different uh, game modes and stuff like that. I do believe you get a good amount for free. I know Eric played a bunch of this, so he can probably tell you in chat. He played more than I did. Okay, yeah, so standard, you get more levels. So there's 31 levels for free, it looks like. Start from the beginning because of lemmings. This game actually looks pretty good from what I remember. Like the backgrounds are 3D and stuff. So I think you can pinch to zoom, if I remember. Yep. And you can select him, make him dig. You can also change the speed at which this stuff happens so I can like make a bunch more lemmings pop out hopefully they, they don't die from that fall nice but yeah, everybody's played lemmings so I'm not gonna stay too long on this because it's a classic Yeah, didn't the PSP version have like uh, user created levels and stuff too, if I remember? Let's do the blockers level and then we'll switch games up. Yeah, okay, you could, you could share levels online, that's cool. You. Blocker. <coughs> Excuse me. See, I don't know what you'd use the, the bombers for in this level, because I don't think you're going to have to end up using them. Pinky spots, oh god. So once we get this all set up. Oh, that's what the bomb is for. Oh no! Oh 
crap. Will they actually survive that fall? Oh, they will. Oh no, but I made a hole in the ground. There we go. Got this. Speed it up. I didn't think it would actually make that fall. That's weird. Yeah, this is Lemmings. I think everybody's played Lemmings at one point in their life. No, Farming Sim isn't out yet because I'd be streaming it if it was. Look at all those Lemmings, holy cow. needed five to make it through it's pretty funny so yeah if I remember other than this there's some other stuff too that was in that purchase stuff because I think I bought like a special thing yeah so I bought the special levels thing and there's more in here too so that's yeah, lemmings it's a free game ecofish this game was broken for a while with the new SDK but they had to take it off the store Let's give out another code. Uh, this time we'll make it... Say the word fish in chat to be entered for a chance to win a code. See, they didn't fix the sound bug there. All right, so this is like kicks too, but it's with a fish. Oh, I to, oh, it's right. You have to draw lines with this one. It's all touching, but. There's a way to speed things up too, if I remember. Go, little fish, go, go, go! <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Alright, so they have these blockers here, and you have to go around them. They also had some other enemies too, if I remember. Little fish, you got it. Alright, man. Let's go to here. Oh, no. No, no! Oh, he respawned. He's all good. Let's go back to the main menu. See if there's a... There's a bunch of levels, it looks like. The underwater volcano. Can we do that? Nice. Poor man's cubics. <laughs> Yeah, this one's all touch though. Cubix wasn't touch at all. Lava. Okay, so I can't touch the lava? Is that what that means? Oh, so dead. So how come they can touch the lava? That's not really fair. Oh, I thought I made that. Some BS. Oh, I'm dead. I suck at kicks. What else we got here? Oh, I didn't unlock the Arctic Fire yet, did I? Fisherman's Cubics. <laughs> oh, what did the ice do? Oh, ice makes you slow when you go through it. That's right. Wow, that guy just, like, headshotted me. 
Go, 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 go. Oh, that squid is a dick. Alright. Oh, it's gonna be close. So, so close. Go, 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 go! Nice. Take that squid. Oh, dead. Game over. Alright, this is this is Ecofish. Let me see how much it is. I'm not sure. Cancel. Back. Ecofish is $1.79. Alright, time for Surge. And time to give out that voucher. It's going to take three minutes for this game to load. Alright, so the winner this time... Boom! Following status is uncertain. There's our winner. Nasad is now. Uh, do you want Haunt the House or Rim Capsule? Surge is awesome if it doesn't take three minutes to load, Carl. I told them about it, they know, so they're going to eventually fix it, but... <laughs> Which game do you want? Let me know. All this game loads. Haunt the house? Alright, I'll send you a message. Still loading, by the way. The stream isn't frozen. Oh, man. How do I pick the winner? I have a, a like a plug-in for Twitch TV that like rolls the dice. It's time to take a break. This game loads. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. About time. So Surge is $3.29 on the store right now. That's me moving my tablet. K-pop ni koishite. I don't read Japanese, though, so... It's kind of hard to play that. So Surge is pretty cool. Uh, you have to connect colors by drawing lines with your fingers. And it can get really fast paced. And there's a whole bunch of power ups and you have to like make sure that uh, the meters on the sides don't fill up. And whenever they do you can drain the pressure by hitting these things and when you, when you hit the pressure color, the ones that are open on the vent will be like double score, if I remember correctly. So now you want to try to link all the purple ones and all the yellow ones to get maximum points. Uh, usually when you start the game off, you do full screen, so it's like fully filled. This is the tutorial stuff. Uh, I don't think they do. The codes, I'm not sure. They might expire eventually, but I'm not sure how long it's going to be. You could always redeem it on your account now and just uh, be safe. Like, you, you can redeem it on the PS Store. It'll just add it to your download list. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Yeah, I do have codes for US people as well. I have Haunt the House codes, and I still have a Mega Blast code. We still have Haunt the House and a Room Capsule. So this game's pretty fun. This game is actually really fun. It was one of my favorite games back in the day, but now it takes forever to load, so I don't play it much at all. Cyborg. Oh, that was dumb. So the the star ones give you even more points, so you want to make sure you have the vault, like the thing open whenever you unlock those. Oh, that was dumb. Beta Bounce is going to be a while. <laughs> We're going by we're going by release date. I'm playing it wrong. <laughs> I know I should save one color until all the way at the end. I know.
Like, I should save green and then unlock the green vent. But I can't because the green vent's where they're all congregating right now, which kind of sucks. There, did I do better? <laughs> oh man, how many are we at? I don't even know. I'll check in a second. Alright. Play a couple more rounds of this and then we'll switch it up. This game's just really fun now. After after the initial load. So when you hit the bomb block, it'll destroy all of the same all of that color. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Can't do that yet. that up. Crap. So we'll play until I get a game over in this. Uh, purple, yellow. So the pinwheel, you can pick whatever color. It's like a wild card. that I had to do that, so I had a lot more points. Alright, so I think you get the gist of this game, though. Let's, let's move on. It's a Surge. It's $3.29. There's online leaderboards for this, I'm pretty sure, too. So let's see if it'll load it up. Hidden away. Let's see where I'm at. If I'm even on here anymore. I think I was PS on stores when I did it. My score. Not even on the list. Man, it's been a while. But yeah, this is cool because it has only leaderboards, so check it out. Okay. Shirokuro Hakiri. That's not even the name, though. It's they, they, they put the name in English wrong. It's Shirokuro Gatsuri Sukeru Kuma. <laughs> so this is a rock, paper, scissors game with online multiplayer. Are you guys ready for this? Let me see how much this game costs. It's not even really a game. This, all right, this is almost four dollars, three dollars and seventy-nine cents. I can't believe I spent money on this. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tweet out. We're about to play this real quick. cheerful music at least. Those bears are dancing. They're feeling it. They're feeling it. Please tap. Alright, I've tapped. It's connecting. Oh man, there was a new version released back in two weeks ago. Holy crap. Please input your name. My name is Chris. I'm so excited. I wonder what this new version brought. I wonder if it has even more multiplayer rock, paper, scissors support. Alright, let's do bear, rock, paper, scissors to start with. Watch the white bear and the black bear fight for real. Black Bear 1, what up? 
。<笑>所I can here's the here I'm gonna let's set our、uh, our attack bear for for online battles. What's your guys' go-to strategy for rock paper scissors? How should we do this? Should we start off with the, the rock? Or should we start with some scissors? What do you guys want to do? How should we do this? We'll play an online game. I think we should start rock. Do two rocks, a paper, a scissors. And another scissors. Rock is rookie. Are you serious, bro? Always pick rock. Let's try my strategy first. Enjoy online battles from bears with all over the world. Are you guys ready for this? I do not have enough shiro points. How do I get shiro points? Crap. Right, let's do situations. What situation do you guys want to do? Medical? Let's do medical. Do it. Do you smoke? I need my tobacco. No, it's disgusting. You should. You should. You shouldn't smoke. This is a very bad game. <laughs> Did I get enough shiro points yet? All right, I do. Let's do it again though, because I, I want to show you when the two bears like collide. It's pretty awesome. Couple. Uh, how far do you go on the first date? An important question. Oh, look at that! Look at that duel! Oh my God! <laughs> of course, you always go all the way on a first date. Duh. All right, guys, let's go online. Are you ready? The net battle. The net war is about to begin. Who should we play against? Look at all these Japanese people. Tomoki, you're going down. Yes, Tomoki, done. Here we go. We got this. You guys ready for this? Oh, I won. What's up? Look at that. The master of rock paper scissors. Japan lost. What's a group again? I don't remember. The white bear and black bear can, can. Oh, they can pick teams. That's right. Oh, look at this. Choose from photo. Oh man, photo support. This is new to the new version. How do you like that? Yeah, I want to use that image. You can take 16 pictures of people and have it pick. Look at this. This game is amazing now. We would have never known about this if we didn't play. I have to do this 16 times now, don't I? <laughs> Let's do this fancy star mouse pad I got here. All right, can we go now? I don't have to pick all these, do I? Select one. Here we go. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, my computer screen won. So that's pretty cool. That that's actually neat. That, that that's kind of useful. <laughs> so yeah, that's the bear rock paper scissors game. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Crash planets. We're almost done with the first page, guys. We're getting there. Let's do another giveaway. All right, type "rock" into chat because it's not a rookie move, like Eric said. Rock. Type "rock" into chat.、So、this is Crash Planets.、Uh, this is a game where you're running a ball, not a rock, just a rock. Game start. All right, so this game, you're, you're the little blue ball, and you have to run to the orange ball and try to destroy it. And the more whoever has the mo most momentum is the one that does the damage. Eventually, they add things to the sides of the screen, like、uh, 
black spikes that do damage to you. There's only like 10 levels. It's 99 cents. Uh, there is two multiplayer where you can each can control a side of the screen using the analog stick. I think this game actually, you can use touch as well. Yeah, I'm touching the screen there. You can change the different touch inputs too. There's more than one. I'll show you some of the multiplayer stuff. All right, so that's this. Select, can I quit? Can I quit? I have to beat the level again, don't I? And then I have to hit select. This game's got some decent music for being... This, oh, this is this is the first game that was published by someone that, that bought, like, the SDK. I forgot to mention that. So now we're getting into the games that are made by just, like, uh, hobbyists and people that just spent the $99 to buy the SDK. And development studios, too, that didn't have deals in place with Sony beforehand. So now we're getting to the good stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, so multiplayer. So there's different levels you can play on. There's a black hole, let's do the black hole. So uh, the left, uh, player two is using the, the right analog stick and player one is using the left analog stick to play. Get out of there. Get out. The game's 99 cents. Uh, there's a boss. He's kind of hard to beat. I mean, for a while the game would crash on the boss and I couldn't even beat him. Can I hit this guy? There we go. Player 1-1. One, one. This is Crash Planets. Cosmic Cleanup from Ripstone. Alright, I'm picking a winner. Forgettable username, I think. It's, it's too long for it to read. Forgettable username, are you in North America or in Europe? Alright, do you want Haunt the House or do you want Mega Blast? Yep, we're almost at Haunt the House. Getting closer. So this one you're trying to clean up space debris, from what I remember? I'll try to push the both as it wants to launch. So you tap one side of the screen or the other to rotate your ship and you're trying to use the like the, the afterburner thing to uh, burn all the debris. Is that the clouds in this one? The clouds. If you run into the clouds, uh, you die. Ooh, well, that that lag. You can also run out of fuel if I remember correctly. I think it's based on time too, for the uh, number of rocks you get there. You can't redeem it. What? Oh crap! What region is your? What, what, what region is your account from? I forgot to mention it only works in certain regions. So these are power-ups. Oh, Portugal. Yeah, there's no PSM there yet. Sorry, man. I forgot about that. If you have a tablet or anything or a phone, you can just log in a, U a UK account because it doesn't it doesn't have multiple accounts. Like it handles multiple accounts, unlike the Vita. Yeah, yeah, I figured it would. That's the problem with this PlayStation Mobile stuff, is it's not available everywhere yet, so you have to... ...be mindful of that. I totally forgot about that. That's my bad. Oh, get that blimp. So this game's actually not too bad. The controls are actually... they handle pretty well, even though it's touch only. I believe it's not too expensive. I'll check in a second here when we're loading up the next game. It's 
power-ups. Oh, crashed. Uh, is there anything else in this game, or is that it? I think there's like a bunch of... there's... 40 stages? Yeah, 40 stages. When you beat them, it just changes like the stuff on the surrounding, that sort of thing. What are the rewards here? Quick draw, living on the edge. It's a bunch of stuff. I guess that's like a preemptive thing for trophies if they ever decide to add that to PlayStation Mobile. Alright, so let's cause our cleanup and check the price real quick. This is a dollar twenty-nine. And we've made it, guys. We're on to the second page. Life of Pixel. Alright, um, if he signs your copy, <laughs> I'll send you a, a message right now. We do some life of pixeling. Of each of knows. Is tired. So this game actually has some decent music now since the patch, because originally it was uh, kind of broken. But they fixed a bunch of stuff later. So I think I have everything unlocked here. 100% completion. So we'll start off at the beginning. Let me turn the volume up a little bit on the game music. So you can see it starts off, um, uh, starts off here, in like the old, old days of computing and video game playing. Simple colors, simple sound effects, simple music. So the goal for this game is to collect all the, the coins that are on the screen, and sometimes there's also, uh, gems, but I've gotten all the gems already, so they're not there. And whenever you collect enough coins, it'll eventually unlock different worlds. They're actually trying to get this game onto different consoles and stuff with a Steam there's Kickstarter going on right now, if I remember. That's kind of weird, though, that the the people that use the the dev portal have better sales information than the people that have made games through Sony. Because I think they get weekly reports for their stuff on the dev portal. Right, let's, do I have a double jump? I do have a double jump. Oh, that's right, the double jump was broken for a while in this game before they patched it. Do do do. Oh, uh, how do we go back to the main menu? Let's pick a different world. Let's do Atari. Yeah, the Kickstarter, they, they need a lot of help. <laughs> I don't know if it's just lack of, like, uh, publicity or... Oh, that was bad. Or just people aren't interested in playing this game on other platforms. Crap. Ooh, almost died again. Not good. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Oh no, that stupid jump. Oh! Alright, let's uh, I'll show you guys the secret master system levels, because I'm a baller and I got everything. Let's do this one. So each of these worlds has different, uh, 
music to go along with the visuals that they made. Which is, which is refreshing, because when they first put out the game, it didn't have every music, every stage had the same sound effects, the same music. I think if I fall in the water, I die. Yep. Crap. Get out of my way, creepy face guy. This time. One complaint I've seen mentioned about this game is he has a fixed jump height, so he can't. Uh, some of the levels are made in ways which make it hard to be able to move around the stages. Alright, so this is Life of Pixel. Let me see how much it is. It is $1.99 on the store right now. Time for some Haunt the House. So let's give out another voucher. Uh, type into the chat the word boo. Type boo to, to win a copy of Haunt the House. I like the music here, so we'll listen to it. Not boob. Boo. Alright, so, so in Haunt the House, you're a ghost. Oh, I forgot they have storytelling. darkness something is stirring a restless spirit something disturbs his peaceful slumber through the dusty glass of the clock face shines the light of a town that never sleeps but our ghost is not helpless he can possess our as an object is possessed the actions you can perform are listed underneath when people are scared the atmosphere of the building will increase, and new actions will become available. Once you've had your fun, tonight's goal is to visit every building in town. Scare away every single person and win back. That what is this? You can keep track of people in the town and your position. The night will soon be... Alright, let's go. So people can commit suicide in this game. If they jump off buildings and stuff, that's kind of loud. So the goal is to try to scare everybody and not have them kill themselves. But the, the art is really good in this. So let's, see, let's, let's uh, start off by possessing this little rocking horse a little bit. Not doing much. What if we go up here and take control of this doll and make it move? She's not too frightened by that, but what if we go in these drawers here? Nope, nothing. Skeleton, that would definitely scare some people, right? Not spooky enough for them. Wheelchair, that's a good one. There we go. Oh, now we can start doing that. Have anybody left here yet? Not yet. The hospital atmosphere is strange. <laughs> More of like a, a bark. 
That's a <laughs> that's a cat meow. Uh, telephone. It's creepy. Flying out of there. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? We almost got it all the way up. How do I get rid of that guy again? Oh, there it is—the banana. <laughs> so now I think I can go back to the the bell tower and actually use that guy as a ghost, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Let's see, what do I go in the crib? See, I think that's creepier than the other one. That lady's not having any of it. She's not moving. So, let's see, what else do we got here? Are oh, there still people up here? Really? Get out of my house! She is not afraid of anything. Oh, I had to kill her. That's why. <laughs> Let's use her. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, the pr oh, sorry guys. The price on this one is $3.49. So yeah, there's these four different rooms you four four different buildings you go through. And uh, you unlock different ghosts you can use. The art style is really great, there's a lot of good animation. And it rates you at the end how well you did. So I guess that's the replay value in the game is that trying to get a better score. Hopefully whenever they add leaderboards and stuff, uh, Tom can come back and uh, Add some leaderboard support or something. These people are not spooking them too much. It's not scary. How about that? Is that scary? It's a little creepy, right? Yeah. That's, this is even creepier. It's got the drum. Sounds good. That guy got a little freaked out. Oh, here we go. There we go, freaking people out. Ah, get out. Alright, I'll go to the other two uh, areas and then we will switch games. So there's, there's the, the, the certain people you have to kill to get them as ghosts. And then there's just the other people you're trying to spook out. Like this person right here is the person you want to get rid of, but you can't do anything with this yet. Hello! Hello! Ha ha ha! Uh, elephant. Scary elephant. Menorah. Why, can you play the organ? Fan of the Opera doesn't want to leave, though. See ya, lady. That knife isn't creepy at all. Oh no, the treasure box! <laughs> Last area is a cruise ship. Man, 
I would be getting freaked out if I saw that happen. That guy doesn't look too happy, actually. So things start off small, just by doing these little things, and then eventually it gets more and more uh, things you can do in each level. And you're also trying to do this as fast as possible, too. Nothing? He's not afraid of that? There you go, get freaked out by that. Captain. <laughs> Alright, so this is Haunt the House. It's $3.29. Or $49, I don't know. Let me check again. $3.49. We still have some vouchers to give out for it, so let me roll again. Mets droplets. Are you in the US or are you in the EU? Meltdown Moon, 79 cents. All right, send you a voucher right now. No, down, down. That's not Barack Obama, by the way. So we got classic mode, we got moonfall mode. Play. Let's play classic mode first. Combo. So this is sort of like a match three. You're trying to match, it's not match three though, you can just get rid of them whenever. But you're trying to get rid of the colors Combo. as well as avoiding these ships and then meteorites end up spawning eventually. Yeah, there's a meteorite. And there's like one-ups that fall that you want to try to grab. So this is 79 cents. I believe. It could be 49 or 2. No. 79 cents. Alright, let's try again. So you're using the... Oh, get the star. Get the star. Missed it. You can either use the shoulder buttons to, uh, to go up or you can use like the face buttons as well. I think it's like square and uh, cross. But I like using the shoulder buttons because it's quicker. So whenever you get over a section of thing, you have to hit the the left the left trigger and it'll uh, get rid of it from the screen. Level up. Although I'm not really a fan of this mode, I like the other mode a lot better, which we'll play in a second here. Level up. I'm gonna die. Alright, Moonfall mode's cool because you have your time and trying to do it as fast as possible. And I believe this mode is exclusive to the PSM version. This was also on, like, Android, I think, and uh, maybe iOS. Get that one up. Yeah, in this one they fall whenever you clear them, so uh, you're getting more and more points and you're trying to get it so you can get to the, the score they want. High score though. So this is what like I, I was expecting with PlayStation Mobile when it, before like all the the other games got announced, like games of this quality, Excellent. just like simple pick up and play games. High score. Damn. Play. One more try, and then we'll switch it up. Oh, come on. Oh. Alright, so this is Meltdown Moon. 79 cents. Another game by Thomas Hopper. Radiant Flux. This one recently had a patch. Uh, that added a new mode. So we'll check that out. And Radiant Flux costs...
So let's do uh, a new game first. How do I shoot again? Holy... Oh, I have to use the D-pad, that's right. Okay. Oh my god, I don't remember how to play this game. Okay, square shoots. It's not square. X cross shoots. Oh. You also have bombs on circle. And I think mines are on are on square. I thought I leveled up at one point too and got different things. I guess maybe that meter at the bottom is a level up meter? I thought you could shoot from behind you at some point. There we go, okay. Yeah. I knew there was level ups. The game is really tough when you're just doing the direction shooting. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Alright, one seven. These guys shoot back. Get that power up. Now you have to avoid walls. Get him, get him, get him. If you die, you lose all your power-ups too, so it's... You kinda wanna try to stay alive as long as possible so you don't lose the different uh, abilities that you've gained. It's kinda cheap how they can just fly through stuff though. Oh. Oh, get the power up, get the power up. What did it do? Swarm guys remind me of like the battle toad. Battle toads like uh barrier guys. Like, the plants in that one like like wall level. Sucks. Death by lasers. Alright, so let's do the infinity mode. That looks kinda cool. So infinity mode is a new free update that he added. I think it's just uh game scrolls forever now and you're trying to get as high score as possible. There's power up over here. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Sideways shooting again. Clear the screen. Clear the screen again. <laughs> Using every single one of my minds. So this was I like this mode. It's kinda cool. This game's very retro. Because it only has directional shooting. That is like a mine, right? Alright, this is uh, Radiant Flux. $1.79. Yeah. I fishing. Are you guys fishing fans? Alright, uh, do you want Mega Blast or do you want Haunt the House? PI what three? Go fishing. Okay, let's go practice. Hell yeah, five minutes. Alright, I'll send you a code while I pick my lake to go fishing on. Alright, so this is a uh, reminiscent of like many old fishing games from back in the day like Blue Marlin and Black Bass. 
it does have like a gyro support so you can sway the line here like that let's cast it out here reeling is done on the right stick and you have to you have to waggle the Vita whenever you get set the hook I do wish there's a button or something to let you reel it in instead of having Great to fish. look at that catfish this thing's huge yeah let's keep it you can also change lures and um, I don't know if you can change bait. Come on, I got 100% luck. Should we be able to get a fish here? Strike! You need to set the hook. I did set the hook. Let's resume. We need to we need to move though. So you can see there's a fish radar. Come on, give me a fish. You got one. Yeah, fish on. Let's go. Let's go. Great fish. Oh man, sixty pound fish almost. Look at that. Thing's a monster. River monsters. Let him go though. Try another one. Come on. 100% luck. Let's do this. There's a fish. Oh yeah, there's a fish. Oh, he's jumping. Nice fish. Alright, so I think you guys get this game. Oh, there's different tournaments you can do. And we have to catch a certain type of fish. It also keeps your records of the biggest ones you've ever caught. Look at that guy. Look how happy he is. So the different tournaments. Uh, All right, let's enter a tournament. There's a whole bunch of lakes you can do, and there's trophies for each lake. You used to be able to skip this, but they fixed it. <laughs> so the the money you use is used to unlock lakes. So. If you're a fan of fishing games, you might like this. There's also eye saltwater fishing, which we'll check in a little bit too. Eye fishing is $4.99, I think. It's a pretty ridiculous price. Yeah, $4.99. Alright, we're gonna skip to Penguin Party real quick because the dev has to leave. And they'll probably want to be in the chat and asking questions and stuff about it. So if you have any questions about Penguin Party. Put them in chat. So you see how much I haven't really played because Curtis has been playing this a bunch for us. But start at the beginning here. Oh, I don't want to do the very beginning. So basically in Penguin Party, uh, you have to guide penguins to an igloo and there's also balloons you have to get. So you have this, it's sort of like Choo Choo Rocket in a way, where you have to set up uh, different arrows for them to go on. So if I hit the start button, you'll see they get sent out and they do nothing. So we gotta make it so they can get that fish as well as get the balloons. So let's plant, let's put an arrow there, there, there. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Crap. Hmm. Change my mind. There, there. Oh man, I gotta make it so that's an up. Let's 
tribe like this. I think I'm gonna run out of arrows. Yeah, I am. Hmm. Let's just get the fish and then I can show you how the game works. We don't have to get the balloons. Or do I have to get the balloons and not the fish? Oh, the fish is the end of the level. Oh, man. Whew. All right. <laughs> that makes this a lot easier now. <laughs> All right, let's retry this. Now I remember how to play. Okay. So there's also level packs coming for this. So let's do this again. Now that I don't have to worry about getting to the fish that way. Check it out, guys. I think I did it. I think we got it this time. In some levels, there's sharks in the water that uh, will eat you if you run into them. Look at that. 100% club. Give it to me. Boom. So there's, also, there's an in-app purchase for this game. Uh... You can buy like a... Oh, it's gonna try to connect to the internet, isn't it? You can buy a top hat for your penguin right now. There, they are gonna add uh, some level, level packs eventually that it will, there's some, I think they said some will be free and some will cost money. But for to be a PlayStation mobile game, you can't offer a game for free. You have to have some sort of in-app purchase if you're gonna, if you're gonna make it for free on the store. So that's why they have a little tip of the hat right here for this penguin hat right now. So, let's play a couple more levels. Did I buy the... I didn't buy the penguin hat. Curtis did, though, because he's a big penguin fan. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is going to come out. Four arrows. There. 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 Now let's hope that the shark doesn't eat me. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> nope. Let's get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's start over. So I guess there's other arrows you can get later too. Um, there's ones that only let you go over a certain number of times before they break. Some other ones too. I don't need that, do I? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, I only have one more arrow of crap. Aha! Let's try this. Ha 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 ha! What up? Puzzle master right here. So the game's free right now, and you get look, all these levels, I guess. Good amount of levels for free. 60 levels for free. 6-0. Uh, we'll do one more stage. Oh, what are these special ones here? Hmm, all right, I 
get eight arrows. There's no sharks in this one, so... Guess we have that going for me. Uh... That way... That way... That way... How many do I left? Two? Easy peasy. Penguin party master. Look at that. So this is Penguin Party, it's free. There's gonna be some other maps coming out soon. I think we're gonna have an interview with some of the guys over there on the site. Curtis has been talking to him, I believe. So yeah, that's Penguin Party. Let's get back to where we were. Gun Commando. I think this game has a pretty long load too, if I remember. So, I'm gonna hit up Twitter. Yeah, there's PSM in uh, France. Even the Vita screen kind of timed out there. <laughs> this game did have a long load um, before the SDK got changed too, though. So I can't really blame it on that, I don't think. Man, come on. I don't know which one takes longer, this or... Or what do you call it? Surge. Oh, here we go. We're playing. Yes, that one game had super retro loading. So this game is kind of interesting. Let's shoot something. It's a like a Doom or like Wolfenstein like visuals, but start over. Each time you shoot something, you gain like a modifier or you gain like a combo. And as your combo increases, uh, your gun also levels up, and you'll change guns that does more damage and stuff like that. But as soon as you miss, you start losing that combo, and your gun will get weaker and weaker. I think it's, it's also if you get shot. Uh, it happen, happens like that too. It's got twin stick controls, although there's some acceleration issues on on the aiming that some people don't like. But let's get into it. Okay, this game's price on the US store currently is Two dollars and seventy-nine cents. Let's get through this by tapping. Where's that alien scum? So there's no like uh, moving up and down. It's all just based on uh, left and right. So you see taking one hit. So you can see the little meter leveling up. And if I shoot away from him and miss, see see how it goes down. But the more I shoot them, the more it levels up, and I got a new gun now because of that. You get more points with the better gun you have. You can also change the sensitivity because this game is also uh, you can also play with touch controls. Come on, man! What hits this guy take? Level up some more. There's no time or anything based on that stuff, so you can walk around level and look for hidden secrets and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
So eventually you start getting better and better weapons, like there's shotguns you can eat it, not just this pistol. Oh, I'm so sick of this pistol. Oh no. So my thumb just accidentally hit the screen there and I was shooting on accident, which isn't very helpful because you lose modifier. And it's good to keep count of how many shots it takes to kill certain enemies when playing this game. There we go. Got a better gun now. Eventually you get like a rocket launcher if I remember correctly. So he's gonna take like one hit now with this gun. Oh. Don't get hit. Oh, I'm almost dead. Crap. I need to level up. See, so, yeah, I don't remember how long like a full game of this takes. But I did, I did end up playing through like a whole game without getting killed. Because I think if you get killed, you also lose your modifier, which is not good. Oh shit. Oh no. That was in my face. Is there a melee attack? I don't remember. Oh yeah, you, oh, you can slide. I totally forgot about that. Speed running. Alright, let's go to the next level. Do I get, do I get health between stages? I didn't notice if I did or not. Oh, there's a guy there I didn't kill. Crap. Yeah, this game is actually pretty fun. I like it. Some people don't like the, the way the aiming works. Because it has like a little bit of a... See like here, I'll, see how it, it doesn't stop whenever I stop moving the stick? It has that little acceleration. Some people don't like that, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. But the game's kind of fun. I, I really like the game, it's fun. After I got used to how, to how to aim in this game... See like, it's hard to get like long distance shots like this lined up. So I, you eventually have to cheese it a little bit and use the touchscreen. See, because you can use the touchscreen fully to do this. I think I might have to turn the sensitivity down a little bit too. Like, you can turn the sensitivity down all the way as well, and that, that kind of helps a little bit. But then it's a little too slow for me at this point. Yeah, this is Gun Commando. It is, uh, what was the price I said it was? 279? I think it was 279 is what I said. Yep, 279. Uh, what do we got here? Super Skull Smash Go! Another Thomas Hopper joint. Do 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 do. I think I already beat this game, so it's kind of, I got this, the good ending, so let's just go back to the, the first level. I think this is one of Thomas Hopper's better games. There's some issues with like collision detection and other things, but the, the core gameplay is fun. And I believe this one is priced... Two dollars and seventy-nine cents. So basically, in this one, you have to try to uh, get all the coins and have the skull. You want to have the skull hit the cross. I think it's cross at least. It's like, a, it's like a grave or something. That's how you beat the stage.
Let's do another level here. So, you can't use that. One thing I don't like is you can't use the analog stick in this game, you have to use the D pad. Again, what? Cheese in it. There we go. And you can also kick it. If I remember, you can place it down again and then kick it. There you go. So there's like all sorts of puzzles and stuff that eventually get formed. Let's go to a further level in the game. Just gonna show that off a little bit. Let's try this one. So you can also beat the levels without getting all the uh, the coins. So let's see this one. There's no coins in this one. Hmm. It's not good. Where did all the other skulls go? Do this one again. <laughs> Skulls everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's different visual styles. Man, I forgot all about that. I forgot about the visual styles in this game. You died. Alright, so this is a Super Soul Smash Go. $2.79. Up next, we have Still Life. Another Thomas Hopper game. This one is not really a game. It's like a little interactive music app sort of thing. Hey, let's give out another code. Uh, what should we do? Just type PSM in chat again. That's the easiest. PSM, lowercase. So that's all this game is. You're just touching things to make things happen. It makes a little music. the song changes yeah this one makes lightning crash this one's only this one's pretty cheap they priced if I remember correctly this is 49 cents it's there's not much Maybe like a little kid will have fun with this. I don't know. That's still life though. <laughs> Gym packed. That's another vertical game. I always pick the wrong way. All right. Alright, uh, the winner is... Man, this game takes forever to load. Mr. Io, Mr. Io? I think that's how you say it? Or is it Mario without the A? Mario, Mario? Mr. Io, Mr. Io? 
<laughs> so this game is also out on different platforms like uh, iOS and stuff, but it has in-app purchases for those. Are you in the US or are you in, uh, sorry, US, Canada, or are you in Europe? All right, do you want Haunt the House or do you want a copy of Mega Blast, a game we haven't played yet? Mega Blast is uh, sort of like a vertical shooter. Haunt the House, it was in the stream already. So in this game, you're trying to shoot this little monkey to get different bananas, all using touch. One thing I really don't like is sometimes that you run off screen with your finger. And there's a gem over there. Da -da 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 -da. Sweet tiger noise. Mega Blast? Alright, I'll send that to you. Alright, it's been sent. I'm missing one of the gems? Let's try that again then. I don't know which one I missed. Later, Captain Pilot. Maybe it's over here? Is that it right there? That's not it. Does anybody see the gem? Or it could be hiding somewhere? Found it. So I, I don't know if the gems do anything. I think it may be in the other versions. They uh, actually like, can be used for buying different uh, chimps. All right, let's uh change up the game mode. There's a couple different modes in this game. There's this simple mode where you're trying to collect all the bananas. Levels get pretty long, and uh, like oh, I'm doing jump quests. That's why. Let's quick play. So just throw you in a level. Let's see what quick play is. Bobby two 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 two. Do you live in Europe or US? Baby two 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 Bobby two 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 two. Alright, level one seven. Get home before the time runs out. The sooner the challenge will be the bigger banana bonus. Let's do this. Hit that mushroom. Oh no. Where do I have to go? I thought I had to get on that banana. I thought I had the mushroom. No! Sucking. What the hell do I do? Gonna fail. Gonna fail, guys. Oh, so I have to get up on that ledge, I think. US, uh, I'll send you a copy of Haunt the House then, if you would like that. Otherwise, I can pass it up if you already have the game. Because I don't have any more US vouchers left. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, so I keep messing that jump up. At least it sort of tells you what your last angle was, so you can kind of compensate. I don't know what I have to do in this level. We're skipping it. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you a message on Twitch. Still have a ton of EU vouchers left. I might have to save them for whenever I do a live stream one night. Let's go to the menu. Oh man, there's a bunch of different things you can use. So this is Chimpact. This costs how much is this? I don't even know. Chimpact is three dollars and ninety nine cents. Let's try a totem trial. I think these are they give you different like things you need to do. Uh, like different objectives per level. 
try this one. Time attack. PSM, you have to use C-sharp. There's no C++ support right now. Let's go, let's go, 30 seconds. That was a pro strat right there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh no, five, two, Ah, oh, failed. So yeah, this is uh, Chimpact. It's three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Dungeon Bandit, Rocking Pocket Games, people that made eye fishing. This game is four dollars and twenty-nine cents. been going at this for two hours now <laughs> start over I don't remember how to play this game at all outcast by society for his radical experiments a brilliant scientist creates a wormhole device and leaves his world behind in search of acceptance he never expected to learn the truth Long ago, in a world between worlds, the gods locked the secrets of life in a box and hid the keys from civilization. To become a god, you must travel through time and space, fight ancient keepers of the soul keys, and retrieve the greatest treasure of all, immortality. Dungeon Bandit. Sounds like a sci-fi channel original movie. Alright, so you're this Indiana Jones looking dude. He moves his eyes, if, I don't know if you can see that. On the, on the stream, but he moves his eyes whenever I walk. Tower of Masaria. Sure. So from, from what I remember... Oh, I have to rot rotate... Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, holy crap. My bad. <laughs> sorry about that. From what I remember, you have to go through these dungeons numerous times uh, to get everything. Turn that light on. Oh, there's a big bug. Can't get in there yet. Oh, oh, I got a gun. Okay, I can shoot spiders. That's good to know. Got a shotgun now. Oh, light the lamp. Let's do it. I think they changed this a little bit since the last time I played it. I don't remember them doing the stage. Which is kind of cool. Oh, we got block puzzles now. Look out. I think that opened the gate, right? Yeah. I like the lighting effects they do. Got the, got the yellow key, guys. Oh, yeah. Shoot that bug. To floor two, rooms and storage. Okay. Okay, let's go. And we beat the first stage. This is what I remember. Okay. The Valley of Guys. Enter and complete each location eight times to receive a soul key. Okay. This is what I remember. So let's try this one. Enter the Great Cheops Pyramid. 
so I can't get that yet. Why can't I not walk? Okay. Oh, once you enter, you can't exit. Okay. Gotcha. Did I just get stuck here? Okay, I can shoot the boulders. Shooting boulders. Good to know. Got that. Got the yellow key. Let's see what else we can get in here. It's one key. Oh! I have a lot of health. I like the lamp. Seems actually kind of fun. I don't know why I actually like this game. I don't know if it's worth $4 or whatever they're asking, but... I think they're asking close to 5 bucks. But it, it might have some insane amount of length. So you have to go through these levels 8 times each and there's probably a bunch of them. Light the lamp. Only the brave can pass through the corridors of flame. Okay. Oh, sh I got bombs now. How do I change weapons? Ah, okay. Ah! We'll do this level and then we'll switch in this game. We might actually come back to this at some other time and play it some more. So I'm actually having fun. Anything else in this room? Nope. Hey, I've been here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So we beat it. Alright, that's the first time we've not gone through this. Alright, so this is uh, Dungeon Bandits. Or Dungeon Bandit. It's $4.99. I think... $4.29. We're almost there, guys. We're like halfway, more than halfway done now. Po, 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 garden. This is a terrible game, by the way. This might be the worst PSM game. No joke. I've played a lot of terrible PSM games, and this might be the worst. Introduction. Here's a place where Popopo -po -po is coming, falling down. Cross key is used to move your character. Try to move it. Circle and triangle. Circle, triangle, and cross buttons are used to change your color. Circle is red. Triangle is green. Cross is blue. Change color and closer to the same color popopo. -po -po. It moves. And popopos -po -po will go away if they line up more than three. So it's a match three game if you haven't got it yet. I already did pinky spots, you guys missed it. The start button can be used if you want to pause the stage. <laughs> then you can select resume or retry that stage. Now let's start. Ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, this is so bad. So you have to change it to that color to have it, have it jump and you want it to match three. How do you like the music? Can you guys hear it? Here, I'll turn it up for you. Are you ready? So now I have to, I have to juggle this guy. Wow, that one happens because... Wow, we beat it again. The best. This game's great. Alright, what do we got now? 
Gonna move him over there. Oh shit, too far, too far. I think I'm stuck. I can't get him to go over, can I? Major flaw in the game design. Cannot beat this level now. <laughs> oh shit. Kidding me. Last try, and then we're switching games. There we go, we did it. Alright, guys, this is Popo Po Garden. How much does this game cost? 99 cents. You get what you pay for, I guess. Castle Invasion. This game is 49 cents. 4, 9. Uh, let's give out another voucher. Many more, I think I don't have that many more US vouchers left, I don't think. I think I have one US voucher left and the rest are EU. So type in the chat. USA. Change weapon shoot. Back. Alright, let's go. You can also do touch in this game if I remember, yeah. So this is like some of those flash games you played on, like Congregate or stuff like that, where you're trying to defend your castle from hordes of uh, oncoming enemies. Do I have any better weapons yet? I don't think I do. You eventually get like a spear, if I remember, from playing this, as well as something else. You can also jump around with the, with the, by touching. If you use the d-pad, he slowly moves, which is kind of not very useful when you need to get where you need to go and quickly. It's better just to tap and touch. So it's more of like a Twitch game than it is like a... I don't know, standard like action game, because you're trying just to do as quickly as possible. I want to get the spear so I can show you guys the spear. This is 49 cents, if I didn't mention it already. It's one of the cheap one of the cheaper games on PSM. Come on, get him. This has also been one of the best sellers. Probably due to the price point, but uh, it's been it was like the second best game in March, and I think it was it was in the top five for sure in uh, April. Don't have any other weapon. Oh, here we go. This guy's got a sword. Should be getting the spear pretty soon, then, I think. That hasn't been free? It's probably, probably this one, but... Uh, Beats Trellis has been the number one game for the past two months and has been free during those two months. So I assume that's the number one app. But this game might be the number one selling game. And this guy is just like, a, he's a college student that did stuff in his, this is like a spare time project sort of deal. Alright, here we go, Spear. So it's slower, but it also does a lot of damage. I can switch weapons, right? I thought I could switch weapons. Guess not. Maybe not yet. Maybe he wants me to use the spear for this level. Are there any other game modes in this? I can level select. 
How many levels are there? I guess I can't tell. Some high scores. Uh, some options. So there you go. Uh, this is Castle Invasions. 50 cents. Toby Pen. This game has online leaderboards. One of the few games... X, X loser. You won. Are you in the US or Canada? If so, you got a copy of Haunt the House. How much is Toby Pen? Toby Pen is $1.50. EX loser, X loser, respond if you're in chat. All right, so this is Toby Penn. It's a runner game, but it has online leaderboards. So let's see where my rank is. Wow, these guys are just tearing it up lately. I was in the top 10 for a while. There I am, number 42 on the leaderboards. Scroll to the bottom. I don't know how, it might not, it might only do a top 100, we'll see. And plus my internet's probably going to be terrible. Alright, let's see how far it goes. A lot of Japanese names on here, so... Yeah, it's going to do top 100 and it's going to stop. Yep. So let's play some Toby Pen. So in this game, you run by hitting the Toby Pen button, and you jump by flicking the screen up. And the, the longer you flick, the more he, uh... The, the higher he jumps, I guess, but it's kind of hard to, to gauge it. And if... <sighs> rolled. He rolls sometimes, too. I don't really know what, what makes him roll. And if he rolls, you can't do a jump, so... You have to be careful when hitting the Toby Pen button. Damn it! <laughs> so Toby, it's it's a it's a play on words like t Tobiru in Japanese is to fly, and Pen is short for penguin, so it's like flying penguin. But he's actually more running penguin in this game, and then occasionally flapping his jump wings. Oh no, I'm out of juice. Stop rolling. Oh, shit! Come on, come on, come on. See, I wish you would gain meter when you were rolling. Because then I would... Alright, if you get past 200 meters, the, the stage starts to collapse. Which I hope I can get there to show you that. Oh, yeah. So I actually like this game. I just wish the Toby button was on the other side of the screen. So it would be easier to, to play. Because you're sometimes you're hitting the button. And there's nothing on that side of the screen right now. So, there's nothing really stopping them from adding, moving it over there. I don't know why it's on that side of the screen, but who knows? We're developing stuff. <sighs> Lost all my meter. Crap. Dead. So, this is Toby Pen. That's all you do. It's just a running game. Let me see the price. It's by the people that made the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Bear game. If you were wondering, the developer. Dollar fifty. <laughs>